is good for the nephron, right? So we have these little round structures. So these are called renal corpuscles. Then we have um, some corpuscles are, corpuscles are cut open, so you can see the glomerulus inside. But if we follow this one, right, the initial uh, convoluted tubes here, this is the proximal convoluted tubule. It'll go down. This is the descending limb of the loop of Henley. Henry? <laughs> Henley. <laughs> it's the ascending limb of the loop of Henley. And then this is going to be considered our distal convoluted tubule, and it collect, connects to the collecting duct. This side, be careful. This is our PCT, descending limb, ascending limb, DCT, as we connect there. So they're actually flipped on either side. Um, and as we, the collecting duct will eventually lead to this bottom part. So this is the papilla, the renal papilla. So this area is the papillary duct. And you can see all the holes where the urine will be made. And this area is our minor calyx that catches the urine. The blood vessels here are coming up. This is an interlobar because it's where between the um, renal pyramids and it's within that renal column. And then this, we would call this arcuate and we would call this cortical radiate or interlobular. And here's our interlobular vein, arcuate vein, interlobar vein. All the blood vessels in here would be considered um, like peritubular capillaries. Okay, over here we have a renal corpuscle cut open. So we can see the outside, this is simple squamous cell. So this is the parietal layer of Bowman's capsule. The visceral layer of Bowman's capsule is this peachy color. So notice that the peach color lies on top of the red. So the red is the blood vessel. So this is our afferent arterial coming in. Um, the glomerulus um, is this structure with the podocytes on top of it. And then this is the efferent arterial. So I know this is afferent arterial because it's cut open to reveal those um, juxtaglomerular cells here. So that's part of the juxtaglomerular apparatus. Okay, so these cells can um, secrete renin, which then uh, increase blood pressure. Um, this guy here is the distal convoluted tubule, and it plays a role in the juxtaglomerular apparatus because the cells here are called macula densa cells, and they can detect how concentrated the filtrate is running through the, the tubes. So um, it, can also, it can monitor your solute concentration. What's missing are the collection of cells kind of in between. So there are uh, mesangial cells that should be here that's not shown, and those would secrete renin. Um, I think the, the last thing to talk about is just right here. So this is your proximal convoluted tubule coming off of the corpuscle. And um, the cells here are cuboidal. They should be shown having long microvilli, but it's not on this model. Okay, but I think that's it. Anything else?